Hi everyone, this is Paulo from the technical department of Pratica. In this video, we are going to see how to test the heating elements of a speed oven. In this case, we are using a Copa Express as an example, but this procedure also applies for any equipment that uses heating elements inside. The first test we're going to do to see if everything is working fine is to access the test loads of the unit and check the amperage current of the circuit. So let's see how to do it. First of all, we're going to access settings and then we're going to click on this icon called test loads. We click on it and for testing it, we're going to need an amp clamp for that, just like this one I have here. And we have to click here on the option of bottom heating element or top heating element. In this case, I'll test bottom heating element here. We are going to attach the amp clamp to the cable of the bottom heating element. And then we are going to press play on a test. As we can see, the system is working just fine because we have current value here. But what if we don't have? How can you check if you're having any problem regarding this? So, we stop the test here, and now we are going to the next step, where we have to turn the unit off. After turning the unit off, we are going to unplug it. And then we can test the fuse holder of the unit, in reason to ensure that we have electrical current passing through the fuse holder. So for this, we are going to use again the amp clamp, but now in the function of continuity. So we are going to select here, continuity. That's the function that when we touch the probes, it beeps. So we're gonna find the fuse. And then we put one probe on the input and the another one on the output. If it beeps, it's okay. If it doesn't beep, we're going to remove the fuse from the fuse holder and then we're going to test continuity here. If there is no continuity, replace the fuse. If we have continuity, we have to replace the fuse holder. Then we can put it back and go to the next step. For the next step, we're going to remove the cables from this thermostat and we're going to make sure that its pin is on the original position. We're going to check continuity between these two cables here. So we hold the thermostat. We're going to select continuity test. We're going to put one probe here and the another one right here. If the amp clamp beeps, the thermostat is working fine. If it doesn't, replace the thermostat. Always making sure that we didn't move the position of this pin right here. If the test is okay, we can put the thermostat back to the position and connect the cables. After testing the amperage current, voltage, continuity on the thermostat and continuity on the fuse holder and the fuse, the next step is to test the solid state relay. But for that, we have to remove the cables of the input and the output of the solid state relay. Let's do it. For testing the solid state relay, as I mentioned, we're gonna need to remove the oven from the outlet once again. We're going to remove the cables from the input and the output, and then we're going to insulate the cable because we're going to have a phase here. So we don't want to touch it and we don't want this to touch the housing of the unit. Then we can have a shortcut. So we can access the component here and we're going to test continuity. So we select here continuity. We're going to select the heating element regarding the component, which is the bottom heating element. And I'll check if I have continuity here. So I'll put one probe on the input and the another one on the output. It is important to mention that in this case, I won't hear the beep. 
I will see an ohmic value here. If I see the ohmic value, it is working fine. If I don't hear that, I need to replace the component. It is always important to keep in mind that we have to tighten these screws before taking the measure. Because if these screws are loosened, it's going to show that the circuit is open. So we tighten the screw, we check continuity, and we see if it's working or not. Let's suppose that I don't have continuity. So I'm going to select here voltage, DC voltage, and I'll check if I have 12 volts on a coil of the solid state relay. So I put here the black probe on the negative, the red on a positive, and then I'll see if I have 12 volts here. If I don't have 12 volts here, and the connection is fine between the electronic board and the component, the problem is the electronic board and it has to be replaced. If I have 12 volts here at this point and I don't have continuity, the problem is the component and then I have to replace it. Now I can remove the probes, in this case that I saw that I have voltage and then I have continuity, so I can put back the cables and go to the next test. Last but not least, after testing all the components, we're going to test finally the ohmic value of the heating element. And for that, we have again to unplug the oven from the outlet, and then we're going to remove the cables that powers the heating element and check continuity on that. So let's do it. After unplugging the unit from the outlet, we're going to remove the cables from the heating element and we're going to check continuity on these cables. If we don't have continuity between the cables of the heating element, we have to replace the heating element. So what we are going to do at this time we're going to remove the cable from the heating element. We're going to connect the probe of the multimeter on the heating element ends. And then we're going to check continuity. If it beeps, we have continuity. If it doesn't, we have to replace the heating element. But always making sure that the cable connected to the heating element is correctly positioned and tightened. After unplugging the unit from the outlet, we are going to remove the cables connected to the heating element and we are going to put the probes of the multimeter and see if we have continuity on the heating element. For doing that, we are going to get one of the probes, we remove the cable from the wire harness and then we put the multimeter probe. We are going to do the same thing on the other side. We remove the cable from the wire harness. And we put the multimeter probe. Then we are going to turn on the multimeter. And then we are going to select the continuity test. It beeps, so it means that it is working fine. If it doesn't beep, in this case, or if it doesn't show an ohmic value, we have to replace the component. But it is always important to mention that the cables connected to the heating elements has to be properly tightened. So make sure that this cables is well connected before starting the test. In case of any questions, contact us for more technical support. Thank you for watching and take a look at the other videos available on our platform.